Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church in McGuanago for Thursday, June 30th. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Praise be to God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. The deep places of the earth are in his hand. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today we consider the fourth question that Luther proposes in the small catechism about baptism. If the first question is what is baptism and the second question is what are the blessings of baptism and the third question is how can water do such great things, we're led to this fourth question. What does baptizing with water mean? Baptism means that the old Adam now should be drowned by daily contrition and repentance, that all its evil deeds and desires be put to death. It also means that a new person should daily arise to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. Where is this written? St. Paul says in Romans chapter 6, We were therefore buried with Christ through baptism into death, in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Um, and I will just say that it's this fourth question of baptism, which um, I have grown in my understanding of uh, the most um, since my time in confirmation class. I say it again, I've said it often, one of the real blessings of being a pastor is it forced me into something that Luther would have taken for granted, that that this little book of instruction, this catechism, was not a for youth only sort of a thing or a one and done proposition in youth or adult instruction class, but that this catechism would be a, a handbook and a, and a guideline um, for every every step of life, and uh, and you know, being one who has taught this now uh, for close to twenty years, uh, it really forced my hand, if you will. It forced me back into the catechism on a regular basis, and now I just really can't imagine life without the catechism. Of course, with the scriptures and my hymnal, the Lutheran confessions um, as my as my companions along life's way. What does baptism mean for our daily life? Um, baptism forgives sin by making dead and alive with Christ. Baptism actually is a drowning. It is a killing off of my old Adam. And, and it is a resurrection that this new man would daily live before God in righteousness and purity. Um, you know, we speak of the old Adam and all that we inherited from our parents and grandparents tracked back to Adam. It is, it is quite an ugly thing, this flesh that dwells with us daily. But we recognize then that our baptism is ever practical for the daily fight, for the daily struggle, that our baptism is the place where we go to in repentance, contrition and repentance every day of our lives. Our baptism is the place that we jump back to and a recognition of who we are there in Christ. We are ones who died with him. And so we are ones who live with him. Luther drew this 
dark imagery from Romans chapter 6. I am very grateful that our new hymnal includes this in the baptism, I'm sorry, rather than say I did it, the funeral order of service, that, that we find our comfort that when we come to a funeral, this is not the first time we've talked about our loved one's death. In fact, if we trace it all the way back, the first time we talk about their death is at their baptism, because Paul clearly says in Romans 6, those who die with Christ in baptism live with Christ. We've already gone through death. Why, why be afraid of this next thing, this physical death? Well, there's plenty of reasons this side of heaven to fear death, but not for the baptized, not for those who've been cloaked in Christ. Our resurrection means a death, and it also means a resurrection. It also means a new life to live. It also means saying amen to the life that God has put um, ahead of you this day, living as the baptized. Um, next week, Lord willing, we'll spend a little time talking through keys and confession, a little more practical, what this daily return to baptism means. For this and for our purpose today, just to hear Luther's comforting words, baptism means that the old Adam in us should be drowned by daily contrition and repentance. It also means that a new man should arise. And so God's blessings to you as you live this day, the baptized, you dead and alive ones in Christ, with all the power and strength and comfort that comes from belonging to him. In the holy name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the Spirit to think and do what is right that we who cannot do anything that is good without you may by your help be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Oh, man. God's own child.